<clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I, I agree with what you have said. You know, <clears throat> we hear these claims about people's, um, and they're always sort of like three points removed in their financial background and so forth. The financial statement the nominee has to file with us is a heck of a lot more extensive than senators ever have to file anywhere. And <clears throat> Ms. Gupta has filed, filed it and makes it very clear, not by speculation, but just uh, what, what her place are. And in fact, she is going to, I suspect, take a fairly significant financial hit in getting rid of some of these things just to take this position to serve the country. I unequivocally support Vita Gupta to be Associate Attorney General. There's been all kinds of fact-free attacks against her. <clears throat> She's called an anti-police crusader. Well, like some on, on this committee, I served in law enforcement for eight years. I think she's one of the most pro-law enforcement nominees put forward by the administration to date. Look at the people that support her. They go across the political spectrum, including the fraternal order of police. I know the people on these various law enforcement groups that are supporting her. These reflect uh, the real solid feelings of law enforcement. They wouldn't be supporting her uh, if they didn't feel that she was extremely well qualified. Again, I look at uh, my own years in law enforcement. I would not support somebody who is going to work against the best in law enforcement. I feel she'll work for the best in law enforcement, and Mr. Chairman, I intend to vote for her. Thank you, Senator Leahy. The question before the committee is whether or not we want to have the vote at this point on Ms. Gupta before the roll calls begin. 